Hello again with our strategic reading MOOC. As we have already seen in our first week, we need now to go ahead and deal with the strategic reading and the stages of strategic reading. In this part, sequence two of this MOOC, our concern is about the pre-reading strategies. Let's have a look at the objectives of these slides. First, learn to manipulate, how to manipulate basic reading comprehension strategies before reading to start a text. Second, use background knowledge by the readers. Three, manipulate skimming and scanning to preview the text. And finally, differentiate between previewing and predicting. Before reading strategies, of course, as this stage requires the reader to take a few minutes to get an idea of what the author might be trying to say, he or, or she can rely on a couple of before reading strategies. First, activate background knowledge. Second, preview the text. Three, skimming and scanning the text or portions of the text and finally predicting. Of course, before doing so, the reader needs to activate background knowledge. But before all, what does background knowledge mean? Background knowledge comprises all the world's knowledge that readers bring to, uh, to, uh, to, to the task, and this includes episodic knowledge, and we mean here events, declarative knowledge, and here we mean facts, procedure knowledge, this is the how-to, and finally, related vocabulary, and this is, of course, according to Kinch 1998. To say a word about the meaning of prior knowledge, you need to know that knowledge has to do with prior, which means before, and knowledge means information. So prior knowledge means before the information. As for background knowledge, prior or background knowledge requires thinking about any previous knowledge or experience that can one connect to the text. For example, if the text is about bilingualism, the reader knows that bi means two and lingualism means no, uh, language. The reader will use this previous knowledge to learn more about the, this topic. The reader cannot learn new things about bilingualism until it is linked to his or her prior knowledge or previous knowledge. And this has to do with recalling his or her previous knowledge about this specific topic. We would like to introduce you to how to activate your background knowledge. So there are a number of frequently asked questions like, what subject is the text about? Why was the text written? Who was the text written for? Why should somebody read this text? And finally, what type of text is it? And of course, we have other types of questions to sh in order to help the reader knows about the topic of the text to be read. The following questions may help you get ready. What do I know about the title? What do I know about the topic? Why, what do I know about the author? What do I know about the characters in case I'm reading a story? And what do I know about the bold words meaning? Making connections between the reader's previous knowledge and the text before starting to read will help him or her get engaged and retain what he or she is reading. And this is the new knowledge. Always under the heading of activating background, activating background knowledge, we would like to introduce you to two examples. The first example is about reading a text about healthy and inexpensive dish. The reader will recall his or her knowledge about healthy food. Words like low calorie, 
uh, calorie food, natural vegetables, fruits may come to his mind. For inexpensive, words like cheap, low-priced, low-cost, etc. are also related to this word. Unhealthy food. The reader might know the words like junk food, hamburger, and cake, etc. The prior knowledge will help him or her in interpreting the text during the while reading stage, which will be presented in our second uh, stage of this week. Another type of reading can be reading a novel. Before you start reading The Old Man on the Sea of Ernest Hemingway, you can ask yourself the following questions. What do I know about Ernest Hemingway? What do I know about the characters of this story? What do I know about The Old Man and the Sea? You may have some previous knowledge. Then your, ans your answers can look like Ernest Hemingway is an American novelist. Santiago and Manolin are the main characters. It is a story of an old fisherman who engages in a legendary battle to catch a giant marlin and succeeds to meet his goal. In brief, today's knowledge will become tomorrow's background knowledge, according to Pearson 2006. And thank you for watching. See you in the next slide, which continue more practice about the before reading strategies. Bye-bye for now.